Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Braver, a sports podiatrist. I want to talk about um, stiffness and pain in the big toe joint. Uh, a lot of athletes get this as they um, get older because of the um, limitation of motion. Um, this becomes a stiff joint due to our arthritic changes. Unfortunately, when there's a jamming of the big toe joint, maybe from a previous injury, or maybe genetically the, the big toe was, um, is elevated for some reason, it causes a jamming at the joint, which leads to changes of the cartilage, where the cartilage can get worn, or extra bone can form. That hypertrophic bone, as we call it, can limit the motion of the big toe coming up and flexing, and cause pain to the surrounding soft tissues and the tendon. Sometimes the pain radiates to the top of the foot, sometimes it goes to the, toe, to the tip of the toe. So we call this hallux rigidus when it becomes rigid. Uh, we call it hallux limitus when it just limits the motion of the big toe joint. So depending on the severity, there's different stagings. We do different procedures. Sometimes um, we can give a, an injection to reduce the inflammation. Sometimes you can make an orthotic insert that allows for a little bit of more motion or reduces the, the pressures to this big toe joint. Other times we need to come and take off that um, enlarged bone. Sometimes we need to come in and put in a joint implant, a very flexible hinged implant, which flexes quite a bit here. And what this allows for is freedom of motion without the pain. Here we can see that there's bone on bone. There's this bone here upon that bone here. There's an absence of the joint space here. Here we have a nice joint here. There's a black between the, the joint. So we can see that's the joint space. Here there's no joint space. Okay. So what we've done is we've come and we've taken out the joint and put in a new joint here so that this is the implant in here so it separates the bones out it keeps the bones out so that now the joint is able to flex rather well some doctors prefer to fuse the big toe joint it's not my first preference um, in athletes because it uh, causes compensations when you walk and uh, can cause other problems um, i prefer the big toe joint implant because it allows for a pain-free range of motion um, the disadvantage to an implant is that it may last 20 may only last 20 years, but for some people that's plenty. You can always take it out and put a new one in. You can always take it out and fuse the big toe joint if it doesn't work. I think you'll agree that if you have problems with this big toe joint, it can definitely be made pain-free. So if you have any questions, please feel free to call me.